Good morning. Welcome to the Not House Podcast. What's today, Mom? The 10th? I don't know. I think it's January 10th. It is. It is. Sunday morning. It's our first podcast of 2021. Podcast number 42. So, let's see. I guess we haven't wished everybody Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's hope this one's going to be better than last one. We're doing, we're off to a great start <laughs> for the first days. So, yeah. That's all we're going to say about that. Yeah. Let's just hope it all gets better. Um, we want to thank everybody. There's a couple, there's several things we need to thank everybody for. We do. We do. I, first of all, want to thank everybody. You're looking down because you had that cow on. I did have the ago. cow on a few minutes ago. I wanted to thank everybody for all the, the love and support for the festive cow and hat. Um, I certainly appreciate that. I realize that there's probably a few things I could have done better. Um, but hopefully with each pattern, they'll get better. You've had people, a couple people send you. Well, they, I've had questions about to slip as if to pearl. I should have written to slip as if to pearl with the yarn in the back. Yeah. In my mind, that unless you're designating front and back, it's always back. But I realize that not everybody looks at it the same way. So I should have designated it. But, you know, I'll do better. Of course, somebody said, well, it was a free pattern. What do you expect with a free pattern? Yeah. Well, and, and that anybody that had any questions called and asked. Yes, they did. That. And I answered them. Yeah. So but we we sold a bunch of kits. Thank you so much for the the love for the Christmas cactus. Um, somebody said, "Well, can't you do something like that for Valentine's Day?" And I said, "You don't understand. That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> when you want it to happen, it doesn't happen." So so thank you. And um, there was something else. With oh, I wanted to thank everybody for all of the uh, Christmas advents too, and the and the people that posted pictures. I wanted to thank Pam um, from The Knitting Place and Dinah from The Knitting Place. Uh, they did a feature, if not every day, almost every day. And Pam had bought one of my advents, so she was showing every every color. And, and I want to, or every day's, you know, song and, and color. And I want to say that I had a separate set that I was going to do that with. But we ended up having to use that because we had... A mail catastrophe, and we had to send that out to you somebody. You know that one never showed up anywhere. And you said it never got scanned in the post office. Mm -hmm. So it didn't get scanned in, and because it never got scanned in, Mom didn't feel like it was it was actually going to make it. And the lady was so was patient her, and hopeful and, 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 and everything. And it was her first advent that so, she had yeah. gotten. So I went ahead and sent her my advent. So I didn't have them to, you know, to show every day. So I appreciate everybody doing that. And there's a couple of projects um, that I, I think are going to be really good that hopefully by when the time comes around to to show and, and promote next year's advent, there's some samples done in it. Does that mean that? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was telling mom as I was doing the, the Valentine's um, things, it was a good way to, to keep me from doing another advent. <laughs> It's like a lot of things, you know, it's like the first time you get too much to drink, you forget about it till the next time you get too much to drink. <laughs> and you think, oh, God, what did I do this for? <laughs> so anyway, so thank you guys. Um, what else were we going to do? We, we talked about an order of doing things, and I don't know. We didn't write anything down. I think you said you were going to talk about your Valentine kits next. Okay. So... I'm going to say that they're not many skeins. Um, you know, Christina and I from Christina from Chelsea Yarns were talking last week and I was like, you know, what's up with the mini skeins? Are mini skeins going to be a thing forever? And, you know, we talked about it and I think that, you know, people view buying a mini skein set because they're all happy. You know what I mean? The colors are all happy. Mm -hmm. Kind of like buying themselves flowers. Oh, maybe. But they last. Right. Yeah, maybe. So, I don't know. I think that may be part of the fun in it. It's kind of like a, a cheery thing. Okay. And you know, Tink said that when she was doing it, you know, she liked opening every box for the for the advent. Anyway, that being said, I did not do minis. 
<laughs> for the Valentine thing. Um, I, I went with something. Um, I went with, this is a 50 gram skein. Um, I'm calling them skinny skeins. And I think it's kind of appropriate because they are long and skinny. <laughs> they are long and skinny. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for them to be this long. <laughs> So you have to reset everything for winding and you know fitting them in your pan and everything else. Um, but I have I have two sets. And mom, are we gonna have the, the stitch markers? Are yes. we sure we're gonna have the stitch markers? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna have two set two sets. I was gonna do three. Why I was gonna do three? I don't know because now if I did it again, I would only do one. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna do three. Now the beginning of next month. After it's all done and over with, she'll sigh a sigh of relief <laughs> and be very proud. Yeah. But right now. <laughs> no, and it's fine. I got a bunch done last night. Good. So, um, and we get to decide how many to do. We can. Right? Right. So, there's two, two sets. There is, um, roses are red. So the set will have four skeins. And I think it's 200 and, oh, I should have this done. I, I had to get the labels made and I knew it was. You said 237, I thought. Is that what it was? Over 200 yards. It'll be on the website correctly with the correct yardage. Um, they're all four. And you can see this is kind of a gradient um, so again, this is, this is roses are red and this is, this is, I would say a cherry red. Yes. And this pink, I want to say something about this pink. Can you guys see that? I hope the color's coming through. Okay. When I was doing it in the pan and it's wet, I think, oh my gosh, it's like bubble gum pink. Cause I'm not a pink person really. Oh horns sorry for the horns um but then when it's wound up it's got some lights there it's very it's it's tonal so but it is not bubble gum. it's not bubble gum once it dries it's it's um it's just a really pretty pale yeah pink. it's a soft pink i mean it's not even really a baby pink no it's not so um so anyway and then this one let's see if you guys can see that this has got a little bit of of um brown of course it's got the magenta and a little bit of red and the red looks to be a little bit on the orangier side of red i think it's because it's with the magenta and then this one I'll hold those together so you can see that they are separate i mean there are different so this one is just darker and there is brown in this one too and then this one is the red. So we're going to do these as kits. And we're doing those as pre-orders. We're going to do them as pre-orders. The pre-orders are going to go, the pre-orders will be up when this goes live. Right. Right, Mom? Yes. And then? And then we are going to, I'm going to have everything dyed and we'll have everything mailed by when? When did we say? The last... Sometime the last week of January. Yeah, probably the 27th. The 27th is a Wednesday. I want to make sure everybody has time to get them before Valentine's I, Day. I will say this. Things that I have been shipping out since the 1st of January have been getting there faster. I still have some things from December 10th yeah. that have not gotten there. But things that are going now are going faster. Yeah. So I think that if we do it that last week of January, mm -hmm. then um, they definitely will get it before the. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna dye them up as the pre-orders come in, and we're gonna ship them out as the as I get them done, so that we're not doing all of them at once. Right. So some people will get them before, depending on when you pre-order, if you pre-order. Um, there will also be a three-set stitch marker set right yes with these we don't have those yet because they haven't come in um but we want to go ahead and 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 tell you about the pre-order so the so they'll this will be on the website and one is going to be called roses are red 
and the other one will be violets or violets blue. Violets or blue. Okay, so so this is the palest, palest lavender on the planet. Very pretty. Yeah, I really like this color. And you know, you guys are gonna say, are she is is she gonna do those colors in regular skeins? I might if there's a request for certain ones. But you know, the thing too is that it may not turn out exactly the same. I mean, the solids will, but some of the um, variegateds won't turn out exactly the same because of the the weight and they'll come close. I can, I can come close. So this one, sorry. So this one is just a little bit darker. It's more on the lavender side than the pink side. And, it's and these of, aren't gonna have names. No, they're not gonna have names. They only have the name of violets or blue. Right. As a kit. Right. As a set, I mean, not a kit, but a right, set. Right, but the individual skeins right. are not going to have. Right. And so this one has got a little bit of um, gold in it. Very little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. And then this one is, you know, a medium purple with bright blue and a little bit of green. A little bit of green. And then this one, I worked on this one for a long time. They're getting this color right. I worked on the red for a while too. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And I don't think this is like other purples that I've done. I mean, you're going to say it's the same as something. Mom. Essential purple. It's not the same. But it's not as the mm -hmm. same as essential. I think it's a little redder. Anyway, so again, guys, so this is, this is violets or blue. I already have an idea of which one will be more popular, but it doesn't matter. That's why I want to do pre-orders because I don't want to dye up half and half and, you know, somebody want more more violets or blue than, than they do roses, roses or red. red. So, so yeah. Okay. So this is the Valentine's thing. Oh, and we're going to do a giveaway. Yes. So mom, you tell them what we're going to do for the giveaway. Okay. So you comment on the on the podcast and you have to of course subscribe mm -hmm. and then we're going to give away it'll be a surprise which one we give away do you want it to be that way or do you want them to pick well they can pick because they're different people are not necessarily pink and purple people right both yeah i think they should have the choice and the stitch marker will be in it it will be a full kit okay and so we'll do that as a giveaway. We'll do that as a giveaway, and we'll announce that on February 1st so that I can get it mailed to you before Valentine's. Yeah. So, okay, so that's a fun little thing. We haven't done a giveaway. Uh, I don't know. We do a giveaway about every other time. Well, we do, a, we do a few giveaways. They're pretty all together. Well, maybe somebody wants two kids. Maybe. Maybe they want to buy one for them and one for somebody else. Anyway, so that's that. I'm glad I have the colors figured out. It took me till yesterday to get them all figured out pretty much. And those will be up on the, the website. They will be under kits. And you need to make shh. Yeah, they'll be under kits. And I'll have them just as, um, I'll list them as Valentine kits and have both of them under the same one. And they'll be listed as a pre-order. As a pre-order. Mm -hmm. And then when I've done all of them I can do, we'll just have to cut the pre-orders off. Right. Okay. So you want to talk about your sweater now? Yes. So I am trying to design a sweater and it's just a simple, raglan sweater um if you guys knew how much i fussed at her about now, doing all the test knits and not designing for herself designing's hard and anybody that begrudges a designer paying a designer for a pattern i am here to tell you they're worth three times as much as what they charge it's not easy or everybody do it everybody would do it um so it's the raglans, can you reach up there, Heather, and put it closer so they can see the, the raglans are a little different. Um, What's different about it, Mom? They've got yarn overs on both sides and there's three stitches in the middle. So that's a little different. 
And Is color I, pretty, guys? I have done this in two strands of mohair. And I'm the first one that would have said, oh my God, not two strands of mohair. But I did do a test knit that I can't really show you that I think is gonna be dropping any day that is two strands of mohair and I loved it. And I love what you can do with the color. So these are the two colors. What is this, um, Tink's Pink Mom? Tink's Pink and Better With Age. Better With Age. So these are the two colors that she put together that turn into. And you can see that it really makes a difference. Turn into this. Um, so it's gonna have some twisted stitches. The um, neckline is twisted. Um, it's gonna have a split hem. I like the neckline too. The neckline is like a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And of course it's got short rows. And the bottom, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the bottom is gonna be split. Are you ready to split it? I've already yeah, split it. Yeah, you've already it. split it. And then the stitches will be twisted. So it's gonna be simple. What do you mean the stitches will be twisted? On the ribbing. Oh, you're gonna do twisted rib on the hem. Uh-huh. But it's gonna be split. But it's gonna be split and the back's gonna be longer. So what about the sleeves? What are you gonna do for the sleeves? Have you decided yet? Um, it'll have kind of a longer rib, I think. Yeah. And they'll be twisted as well. So is it gonna be balloony? No, not really balloony, but not. I'm not gonna do decreases. Okay. I'll do decreases right at the cuff, like I like to do. So you have to get it, you have to have it tested. You have to have it tech edited. Heather tells me I can't release it until I said fall. you're just gonna be fall before she can release it because you have to, because all these things have to happen. It's true. And I don't know what good it's gonna do us if we release it in April. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I did wanna show you too. I'm hungry. That, can you reach that up? Mm-hmm. All right, so what is this about, Mom? So this could be a color. Basically what I'm telling you is, don't you love my <laughs> bag? <laughs> um, with mohair, you can't be afraid. You can hold two colors together and make a whole, it's like painting. It just makes a whole different color. It doesn't really look marled, but it has such a depth of color when you do that. So. For one thing, when this test that I've done drops. Can you say who it is? It's This Bird Knits. It's got a test and it. I really think it's, I, I really, it's what motivated me to do, to do my own because I really was impressed with it. Um, but you hold two different color mohairs for the body, which is what I did for the sweater. So when you see the kits that we have put together, you're gonna think, what in the world is she thinking? And about I, putting the colors about together. About putting the colors together. But now I wouldn't necessarily think that of these two colors because you could totally see. So this is, these are the two mohairs, right? Well, they look they look pretty different though, if you're seeing it as a kit, what, you know, that this is the body. Well, I don't know. And then that's how it turns out, right? So it's definitely lighter and bluer than the green but not as blue as the blue. Not as blue as the blue, yeah. So you're doing swatches. So yes, I'm gonna do swatches. The other swatch I'm gonna do is with... Oh, that'll be pretty. The blue, the, the navy blue Mont Blanc, and this is called Getaway. Um, and the swatches will work for both sweaters. Mm -hmm. Are you only gonna do this, those two, plus the one you did? I've got one. Or not that one, but the other one you did? Uh, I've got another that is two shades of pink. And it's not as drastic as these are. Okay. And then the one that I did, which is pretty drastic. But now that sweater that you test knit is not all mohair. No, it's not all mohair. The body is mohair, the yoke is mohair, but the color work is a fingering. Okay. Anyway, so so will you, will you do a live on that? I will, I will do a live on that, yeah. I'm trying to get mom to do more lives. If she waits for me, then 
Well, I'm used to having Heather to ask me questions. I'm used to, you know, I, I go along and say what I'm going to say, and then she stops me and makes me clarify what I mean. So when I do it by myself, it's a little harder. I know, but it doesn't have to be like such a formal thing. Okay. And you want, you're, you're worried about reading the questions. Carolina, who is such a dear, mm -hmm. um, has said that she will help me with that. Yeah. So that I can answer questions. So you'll do, a, so when the pattern drops, we'll have the kits ready because we think it's really going to be a good pattern. It's really well, it pretty. really is yeah, pretty. It's really pretty. Um, and we asked if we could show and we can't show yet. So anyway, uh, we still wanted to podcast and, and do all this, but we don't have that much to, to show really to talk about. No. Um, I guess we can talk about what I started last night. Yeah. Talk about your, your hat. So where's your phone, mom? Want me to? Yeah. If you can pull up a picture. So. You know how you're on Instagram and you get things that pop into your feed if you do a search that you don't necessarily, you don't follow that person or, um, you know, you guys are seeing all the reels and everything on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, I understand not everybody's on Instagram. Anyway, so this hat has been popping up for the past couple weeks and it hadn't been released. And it is called the Lotus lotus flower beanie and i don't have a color picture but i think you guys will recognize it now it's designed in two different ways one is done in rasta and one is done in um in malabrigo chunky or bulky and that's made by b just the letter b knits handmade right so you guys might recognize this picture so see that's the that's the hat so it came out, I don't know, day before yesterday or something like that. And I said, Mom, I can do that really quick in between dying all, <laughs> all that stuff. But it's true. This morning I did, I don't know, three rows of the flowers before I came in to do the podcast. It looks small. It does look small. Um, you told me, <coughs> you told me to go down a needle size. I'm doing what you told me to do. You doing it on a 10? Yeah, I'm on a 10. Calls for a ten and a half. Calls for a ten and a half, yeah. So, I, but <coughs> excuse me, it's sunlight. I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, I want to say that it is really fast and fun, and like I said, she does it in two weights. One, she does it in Rasta. Um, and then she also does it in a, a, ch a chunky, Malabrigo chunky. So she's got it written out. Now, what she does is different sizes for mm. the bulky. I mean, for the super chunky. Right. What do you call it? Is it super chunky? No, bulky. Super bulky? Uh-uh. Anyway, so she does different sizes. But for the, um, the regular bulky, she only tells you... One, one size, size to cast on. So I was looking at that this morning because I thought it looked small too. But I don't know that it's really small because I think it's supposed to be stretchy. Yeah, it may not be. It may not be that small. When you've got it on a 16 needle, it it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. You going to sneeze again? No. And so then, too, maybe I should have been on a 10 and a half instead of a 10. Maybe. You should probably should have been. But you didn't have a 10 and a half. Can you believe we don't have a 10 and a half? Just a wall full of them, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have one at home. So anyway, so we put a couple of things together. If you're just looking for something quick to do. Um, also would be good with leftovers. Oh yeah, and you know, how many people have, have Malabrigo and, and Chunky in their, in their stash? Right, well, and leftover Rasta. Yeah. I mean, because for the, for the little flower things, it doesn't take that much. No, and so that way you could reverse you could reverse it and do two hats. Right. Because I looked at the yardage on that and you could. So I'm doing um, Mont Blanc with favorite marble. I'll hold it up here so you guys can see it. Mom picked them out for me yesterday. So she did a good pick. She knows what I like. She should by this time. You'd think, right? Mm -hmm. And so this one would also be good. This is Sweet Maple and Staycation. 
And then this one would be fun. This is um, um, House Party and uh, Wing It. And then I got another subtle one, just regular um, Fresh Start, which is just neutral, and um, Champagne Christmas. But using that white, you could use any of those colors you've shown on oh, the yeah, white. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you could do that one would be fun. That one would be really fun. Yeah. So anyway, that was just something that's really quick. And I wanted to start it because I sometimes you need instant gratification. And truthfully, what I did this last night in an hour. And, you know, anytime you're on size 10 needles. How, with, how long could it take 60 you? stitches. I mean, so that's that. And then um, do you want to talk about your blurry cow? Real quick? Yeah, I'll talk about, I did a live on this, so I don't want to bore you guys with it again. But this is um, the Blurry Cow by Hohe. It's in her interpretations book. There's so many good patterns in that book, too. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it was because it was different. I, I don't know. But it didn't take me very long. The top part of it, it has chevrons, which is just knits and pearls done in a different order. And you're doing it flat until you get to the stripes. And then in the stripes, you join it in the round. And I did the stripes, has a center double decrease. And then at the bottom, there's a little bit of lace. It's a little different. Um, I couldn't figure out what she was doing until I got done. And it, but it's very pretty. She's very clever. All I know is she was at my house New Year's Day. Was it New Year's Day when you started it? Probably. And I was done with it. You were done? Well, I don't know. Maybe you started it over the weekend. No, I started it New Year's Eve. Yeah. With the girls on Zoom. Yeah. And she comes over to the house and she goes, this is so fun. It, it really was. Um, just enough stripes and just enough lace. I just know. can't believe how quick it was. It was. It only took me like three days. Did it, it, you said it didn't take two full skeins of DK? No, it did not. It did not. So, so we just have a few kits left. Yeah, because I don't have she a talked lot. about it on the live. Yeah. But you can use any DK, guys. You can use any DK. Right. So. And... I've showed it with speckles or variegated for the first color, but you could do it in two solids as long as they were contrasting. Mm -hmm. A light pink, a dark pink, a light purple, dark purple, blue. light blue, green. Gray e with anything. Yeah. So these are the two. That you did. That I did. And we still have kits on that. We have two kits left. Okay. Is what we have. And then this is a new kit that I didn't show on the live that I put together, but it is up on the website. Yeah, that's a good combo. And this is also a new one. No, this isn't new. I was gonna say, I thought that, I didn't think that was a new one. But that's chai spice. Yeah, that's pretty. And then this is a, this is a green, this is a good one, because it's green, I think. I thought, I, had another an, one? I thought I had another one, but maybe not. Nope, that's all you have. Okay. Uh, there, There's a couple more on the website. But like I said, you could do it um, any two skeins of DK. And I didn't alter it at all. I did just exactly. She did a couple things different that... Is it a regular bind-off? Um, yes. Okay. In pattern. But um, you slip the first stitch, but you slip it as if to knit, which it leaves a little bump on the edge. Usually you slip it the other way and it leaves like a braid on the edge. Oh yeah, know what you mean, yeah. Um, but- Is it stretchy enough to get over your head? And oh yeah, it's stretchy enough. I think if I were to do another one, I might do a few more stripes and join it a stripe or two so that it you have the ability for it to sit down a little further on your neck. But some people like it on your neck like that. Because mm -hmm. they say that 
It keeps, all depends on where you live and keeps your neck warm. And what you're. I'm telling you guys, it's going to get cold. It's going to get cold. Paul told me this morning. He's because you know the forecast for the week is pretty pretty mild. Right. You know, he's like he says. I don't see any polar vortex in that forecast, and I said it's coming. Just wait. Anyway, it's coming. And you, and so Lucas says to me, "Well, Mom, what's the big deal? What, I mean, it, it gets cold all the time. They're saying we haven't had cold like this in years. Well, we haven't had a lot of things like we've had the last <laughs> in years. So, 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 twenty twenty one. Here there we go. You go. Anyway, that was part of the reason why I wanted to show the hat is, you know, I mean, it's going to be cold. So. All right. I think that's all we've got. I wanted to talk about the Ribbon Street bags real quick. All right. So Let's I pulled talk. a couple. Okay. And I was fiddling them with them when you were talking. And I didn't want to distract you from your cow. Okay. So it just so happens these might be two of the better ones. <laughs> I, I just saw them over there on the radiator. So these are new from Ribbon Street, new in the shop from Ribbon Street. We've had these before. These are KP bags. See, it's a little bit of a, a glare there. This is a gold one, metallic. I had a hard time photographing that one because of the <laughs> Metallic the glare, on yeah. it, yeah. Oh, and I don't think I knew this. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. that's perfect. So this is not planned. I'm just gonna say, I didn't pick this one because this will be the first one to go. But she puts like a little, what is this called, mom? A laminate. It's not a wax. No, no. she calls it. It's laminate. Mm -hmm. it's what so she, calls she puts it. laminate on the inside of these bags so that when you have yarn in the bag, it doesn't fray and not fray, but um, it's smooth. So it doesn't ruffle the edges. Yeah, there's no friction against the yarn. And so this one has got, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got gold cars. It's got an old, I don't know what kind of car that is. Some kind of cool car. Anyway, it's a very cute bag. You can go around showing the inside <laughs> side of your knit bag. Anyway, this is a this is a KP bag, and this is a large KP bag. That's how you have them listed on the website, Mom. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how many of these we got in. We got a bunch. We were in. supposed to get them before Christmas. And the and mail. And the mail. Blame the mail. So this one is also very cute. This one is red with like a little bird on it, and then the inside of it is gray. A gray flower and it's also got the the laminate when i carry a bag you carry the kp bag yeah I you carry, carry the pink one i do now were there some other ones that we should show mom the doll one up on the oh both of them am i gonna be able to put them back up there i don't know and then the other sizes are back there by the register here you show so this one is cute as it can be it's got the little dolls on it. I wasn't supposed to show my pants don't match. And it has the same gray laminate on the inside. And then this one, I call it the doll flowers. So it's flowers that have faces. And then it's got a pretty gold. She tries to match the linings, and I tell her that it doesn't matter. Of course, for her, it's all about the, the matching. And for us, it's all about it being smooth on the inside. She's finally gotten to where she realizes that. So, yeah, because these have the same. Yeah, she did the same. Now, we did get some that don't, right? Don't we, don't we have some that don't have we the? Have, we have five of the KP bags that don't have the laminate. Right. So if you're on the website, the ones that they are a little bit less. Yeah, they, they are a little bit less. Yeah. But I, I say that they have or don't have. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pay attention one's, to that if you're One says past. cloth lining and one says laminate lining. Okay. So these are a smaller cute cute bag. This would be good for like a pair of socks. You could put, mm -hmm, you know, or other accessories. Um, so this one's got little dogs. It's cute. And then this one is cats. You know the cats will go. Cats are always, everybody loves cats. Don't they, Mom? They do. I like this one. I'm not a cat person and I like this one. I think it's just because it's just kind of simple. And then this one's a really pretty one too. 
Now most of those, we've Beyond got a red. couple of those that don't have, I call them flats, that don't have the depth in the bottom. Oh yeah, so see how that's got a square bottom? Yeah. And then we've got a couple that don't have a square bottom. They're just straight. They're, They're just, just flat. flat. Mm -hmm. So you call them flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I've got pictures. I, I In the pictures, it's kind of hard to see, but I do have, it's not hard to see the fabrics, but to see the sizes, it's hard to distinct, but I've got all of the sizes listed as well. Okay. So. So that's it, it for us. I mean, it's a shorter podcast, which is probably a good thing. People tell us shorter is better. Yep. And um, mom will do some lives. So watch, watch for those. Probably on Fridays. Yep. We've got the giveaway. We're going to do the giveaway. Yes. I need to go. I need to post these on Instagram, Mom. Okay. Um, oh. I need to get them up on the website, too. I lost one. Oh, well. So. This no, is, you've got them all. Nope. There's one on the floor. There's one on the floor. I'm missing one of the. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so thank you, guys. Thanks for all your support. Um, we do appreciate it. We do it. appreciate it. And, and anytime. I've been having a lot of phone calls lately. And. Um, emails, I try to answer right away. Um, Sometimes it's what you do all day. If there's not a lot of foot traffic in, it's all <laughs> it's all answering emails and done on the phone and FaceTime. Which one, one day this what? one day this week, that was all I did was just emails and and FaceTime, and and that's fine. I enjoy doing that. So feel free to call me or or um, email me, and I'm really pretty good about getting back to you right away. And be patient with the packages. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I will, we may have said this before, but the post office is right across the street from us. And I do my very best to get the orders out, if not the day they come in, but the next day. So I do my part is to, to getting them out, but I have no control over the post office. So, so hopefully it's, it appears to be getting better. Yeah. So that's a good thing. So thank you for your patience and... Thanks for watching. If you're watching, please subscribe, even if you don't care about the the um, the giveaway. And we appreciate we that. We appreciate it. And I know I haven't been commenting as much on the, the comments on the podcast, but I think mom always, I always read them. I always read them and- I try to like them. And if there's any questions or anything, I try to answer. Yeah. Um, sometimes I, I sometimes don't. want to comment on the not so nice ones about, you know, is she for real? Is the daughter for real? The mom seems like a sweet little lady, but the daughter, <laughs> the daughter, I just don't get it. And that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and anyway. I, I'm really the one that can be the, the worst. So <laughs> it may just I be. I think a on that particular podcast, though, you were just kind of quiet and low key. Maybe. But you have, kind of always are compared to me, but. So, thank you again. Yep. Thank you. And we will be back soon. Hopefully not as long, but who knows? You never know what's going to happen. We try. We try. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day. And again, thank you guys for all your support. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Do we need to pose for our picture? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, all we can do. <laughs>